Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I've been to a lot of sculpture gardens around the country, and here's another one. However, this one is different from all the rest in that a lot of their sculptures are huge, <laughs> almost gigantic, you might say. The largest sculptures I've seen in any sculpture garden anywhere in the country. So that's why I wanted to come here and see this one. And right at the entrance to the park, all of these people are so happy to see me here. Although I'm kind of worried about this guy and the lady with the really big stick. <laughs> Maybe she's just guarding her purse right there at her feet. <laughs> so let's go in and I'll show you around. Here's a good one to start off with. And that must be about 20 feet high, the tallest one there. And this guy has got four women playing Ring Around the Rosie or something. Nice big boobs. Looking pretty good to me. I didn't know we were allowed to swim here. Hope she doesn't mind me sneaking up with a picture here. Very impressive. Oops, I made a mistake. They're all women. And here's a shot from the rear. Well, that doesn't look very comfortable. Now, these may look like real trees. But actually, if you look close, you'll see they're really just sculptures bolted to that concrete. Okay, this guy looks like he has got caught in some quicksand or something. He's certainly not happy about where he is. Can't tell what that is. I wonder what this guy is painting. Just the trees. Now this guy looks very strong and healthy. But his torso and head, not so much. Now this is a couple really big ladies. I went over there and stood by it. And the bottom of her dress there is just above my head. They must have been out shopping. Looks like we've got some Siamese twins here. This guy drinking a Coke has got a big job here. I first thought this was a couple men wrestling, but there's so many pieces, I don't really know what it is. But there's a foot for sure. And from this angle, it looks even stranger with those long things hanging down on the right. And I don't think this is supposed to be anything in particular. I bet you recognize this. And here, and it looks like they're headed off to China. And I guess that's their house back there. And there's a couple of their bulls, I guess it is. Well, finally, here's one that's actually life-size. They do have an indoor gallery here, but it's apparently in construction. I looked in the window, there's not much in it. This looks like some strange movie character. What are these two doing? I bet this couple never has any arguments. I think these acrobats should try out for the Olympics. 
Let's check out the guy on the left. They've got this nicely shaded garden, but it's kind of hard to pick out who's real and who isn't. There's a couple more larger than life ladies. And this, what is this? Looks like a woman without a head. Now that is a real peacock. And this says motor exhibit building. I looked in there and whatever they're supposed to have in there is not ready to display. Still got construction to do I guess. And here's a picnic area. And that, I think it's supposed to resemble a snake. Yeah. Oh, he spread them. There's a really big something or other. And what is this back there? That looks like stainless steel. Well, guess what this is? It actually is a skyhook. This is all full of rocks. There's a nice couple. They even left their cell phone on the ground right there. Here's three more odd things. That. And these columns. And whatever this is. Look at this lady and her daughter. I think it's little kids in love. People are loving having their pictures taken next to the statues. Now here's something really complicated. Here's two more similar ones. This one over here. Artists come up with the oddest names for their creations. This one is just called Fan. And here we've got a pretty good sized lake. There's somebody trolling around. And look at this old couple. And over here, <laughs> look at that dress. <laughs> There's your hubby. This couple found the little nook here to get some alone time. Wonder what that means. It's a nice little house. You never guess what's on the side here. How about that? Lady thinking about something. And guess what's on the other side? Somebody screaming. Here's somebody else's little house with a nice patio by a pond. There's a nice picnic set up. I haven't been to that building yet. There's a little waterfall here. Going down to this pond. Which is... Falling off into... The lake.
There's a close-up of the waterfall. Somebody's hiding in there. I guess that's the way they dressed in the old days. Let's see what this guy's painting looks like. Well, I'm not seeing what he's painting. And here, this artist. I wonder how long since this guy's caught anything. He's actually lost his line. Oh, there's some ducks. And across the other side of the lake is people's homes. Oh, I found somebody skinny dipping in here. We've got a restaurant here. This is a really big building. I gotta see what that is. Got a bunch of koi in here. If you can figure out what kind of animal that is, I bet you can't figure out what this is. <laughs> You want to see a howling beast? There he is. He's howling. What amazes me though is this tail. <laughs> that is a heck of a tail. Here's another beast with a very healthy tail. What do you think these three characters are? Other than maybe witches. What is that hanging down? That's not a person. <laughs> and looks like they're cooking their dinner. Alligator for dinner. How about that? Well, here's a better shot of that lady with the big tongue hanging down, talking to her friends. This says skewered, and this guy definitely has been skewered. I wonder what he did to deserve that. Here's a huge, what looks like a top, but from the side, it's a lot different. Here's an interesting creation. And this lady is just relaxing on that sofa. And it's got a plaque here. That's what the artist calls it. You don't often see sofas like this in the jungle. <laughs> and this snake looks a little too interested in her. And here is another huge building they have. I'm not sure what's in it. But look at this big sculpture here. This guy's painting a picture of him, I guess. They're having fun dancing. Here's a good map of the place. Here's the arts building where I am now. And this is that restaurant that I showed you earlier. And this museum building and this one are both closed. It shows all the different sections and courtyards. And some of the big pieces are down here. We've got a Marilyn Monroe inside here. And the band is playing 
very quietly. They're actually stuck in a time warp, I think. Well, there's not a lot that's terribly interesting inside the building here. And outside the other side of the building, is this really tall structure? I'll go get a better look closer up. And this lady, lying out on a day bed, I think it is. She's got her cat with her. And this structure looks a lot more ominous. This is the other side of it. If you've got a big ball and a pyramid, make sure you chain them together so you don't get away. Looks like these ladies are having a day in the park. Somebody did a good job stacking stones. Well, folks, this has been a very, very interesting place. Definitely worth stopping and seeing if you're coming through town here. And if you get tired of looking at all of the sculptures, bring a big towel and some refreshments. <laughs> and I bet they'll have a lot of new items when you get here. Good day, folks.